Hey guys, it's Brandon here with another view. Today we're going to be showing you how to update your 8.4 Uconnect radio for your Chrysler Dodge Jeep or Ram product. So here we go. First you want to go to Google, type in the words Drive Uconnect. It's going to take you to the website driveuconnect.com. I'm going to click that link. I'm going to click support. I'm going to click software download. Then we're going to type in your full VIN number, all 17 characters there. Okay. If you need to pause this video, that's fine. It's going to come up and it's going to show you your update for your vehicle. So if you get this screen pop up, this is letting you know that there is no updates currently available for your Uconnect radio. So just perform these same procedures, go through, put your VIN number in, and keep checking back every month or two months, every how long you want to, just to see if there's an update. Okay, go ahead and click the Get Started button. And this is going to take you to the next screen. And it's going to say Option 1 and Option 2. This is very important. Do not, do not choose Option 1. That is the worst way you can do this, okay? You're going to go through multiple different steps that you don't need to go through. We're going to choose Option 2, View Available Updates. Click there. Then it's going to come up. We're going to hit Download Update and it's going to download. Now here I'm using Google Chrome so the downloads show in the bottom left hand corner. So you want to double click on that which will bring you to your downloads folder and this is where you'll see the progress of it downloading. Depending on your internet speed you're looking somewhere between 10 to 12 minutes. So I have fast forwarded this and now when you double click it, it'll actually open up and start extracting the files. And this is my wonderful family. Now once the files have been extracted, then it will open up and show you all of the files that are in it there. If you click that. So what you want to do is actually take it from the downloads and you want to drag it to the jump drive that you have installed to the computer. Now that jump drive has to be empty. Okay. Can be nothing else on it so if we click here it'll actually start copying to the jump drive now once the copy is completed then you want to take and click on the jump drive to verify that all of your files are in there and then once you have verified that the files are in the jump drive now we're going to remove the jump drive from the computer. Now we're going to go out to the vehicle. What I'm showing you now is a Dodge Challenger or Charger. This is the location. This is the location for the Dodge Ram 1500-2500. This is the location for the Jeep Grand Cherokee. You're all going to plug them into these USB ports that they call media ports. Okay, now that we have the USB inserted into the media port, we're just going to wait for the radio to recognize this update. All right, so there you can see that the current version is different than the update version, and it says it's going to take about 20 minutes. So go ahead and click yes. All right, the radio is getting ready to start its update. So the radio is going to go through multiple different screens. The screen is going to change colors multiple times maybe fade in and out. There's all kinds of stuff it's going to do. But uh, that's normal operating procedure for this update. So just to let you guys know, the vertical lines that you're seeing in this screen is because this radio is bad and needs to be replaced. I'm just using this one to show you how to update it. But these vertical lines that you're seeing is because the radio needs to be replaced. All right, if you want to fast forward this, go to 5 minutes and 45 seconds, and that'll get you to the end result.
All right, here we have the radio rebooting from the software update. And as you can see, those vertical lines in the radio and the kind of discoloration is because the radio needs to be replaced. It has nothing to do with the update. And there you can see the current version versus the update version is the same. And then it says update not available to same software version. So now you can go ahead and remove the USB drive and you're done.